situation. Thanks. Well, the campus lockdown affected TMJ4 Sports anchor Jesse Garcia. Michelle Fiore has that part of the story. Michelle. Well, as you know, Jesse teaches a broadcast news class at the college here twice a week. Now, she says at times it can be challenging to get students these days to put away their cell phones. Today, though, that technology is what alerted students to a problem on campus and helped to comfort them for the next 90 minutes. I had just, before our guest speaker, um, had told the kids, no computers, no phones, pay attention. Not everyone listened. Corey Garswick was the first to see an alert from the school around 10.40 a.m. Oh, I was just in shock, and I started to, like, shake a little bit. So I was kind of looking at her, like, what's going on? So I just motioned for her to come up to me, and she brought the phone up. And then Garcia's classroom's in the basement with no windows, no closets, virtually no place to hide if a man with a gun walked in. So that prompted some to sit around and think about what they might do to escape. I had got my keys out of my bag and a can of mace and stuck it in my pocket because I didn't know if I was just going to have to book it from the class and run. If something happens and we need to get out quickly, we're going out that door and we will run. Immediately I texted my mom, I texted my roommate. I couldn't get reception down here and so I couldn't hear her and she couldn't hear me and she was crying. Do you think you're ever going to forget today? <laughs> I'm never going to forget today. As for me, um, yes, I'm ready to go hug my kids. And that's the same feeling we imagine a lot of others on this campus have tonight. We're live in Waukesha, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Yeah, glad everybody out there, including Jesse, doing well in the aftermath. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Get breaking news updates by downloading our free app at TMJ4.com app. You can also sign up for breaking news text alerts. Well, Brewers